Ugandans will go to the polls to elect their president on February 18th for the fourth time since the reinstitution of democracy. Ugandan President Ayori Museveni, who has ruled the East African country for over two decades, is running for the fourth time as the candidate of the ruling National Resistance Movement, NRM, seeking a continuation of his 25-year rule. General Museveni took power in 1986 and changed the constitution in 2005, suspending term limits. Earlier this month, he began an airborne political campaign, flying planes, blasting music across the country. This tactic has come under fire from Museveni's critics, who say he is spending taxpayers' money for his own purposes. But Museveni dismisses those claims. Those children who have been bothering you with school fees for self-sponsorship, now we are lifting the burden. We are now saying that child who has performed well but has not qualified for government sponsorship, we have prepared a path for them in our manifesto. The election pits a General Museveni against his closest rival, Dr. Chiza Vesje, in a third face-off between the two men. Analysts say it's a taste of democracy in a country about to start producing oil. Besje is the leader of the Inter-Party Corporation, IPC, a coalition of four parties. President Museveni defeated Besje in 2001 and 2006 in elections marred by accusations of widespread fraud. Uganda's opposition criticizes Museveni's regime, calling it a corrupt and repressive. Kiza Besje says there is a lot of anger in Uganda and if upcoming elections are not free and fair, Uganda might be ripe for unrest. But there is a lot of anger, frustration in our, in our society, without doubt. Uh, whether the rigging of the election is what will trigger off uh, that kind of uh, uh, public uh, riots is, uh, is one that um, I think is open to speculation. These things can be triggered off by anything, and normally it's the smallest thing that triggers off uh, the, the, the beginning of, uh, of, of such riots. But the ground is certainly uh, set for, uh, you know, that kind of um, public expression. Democratic Party leader Nobat Mao is another presidential candidate who is worried about the credibility of Uganda's upcoming presidential elections. If we don't have free and fair elections, we are going back to the cycle of violence that we thought was now behind us. Orara Otuno, Uganda People's Congress presidential candidate, is another newcomer to the Ugandan political scene. He's the former United Nations Under Secretary for Children in Armed Conflict Zones. Otunu returned to Uganda last year after 23 years in exile to run for president. Other presidential contenders include Abed Bwanika of the Uganda People's Development Party, Betty Kamya, Uganda Federal Alliance, Jabel Bidandi Sali, People's Progressive Party, and Samuel Lubega, an independent. Paul Ndihau, VOA News. Washington.